Welcome back to South America, guys, and Colombia. We are in the middle of the jungle, in uh, outside Leticia. Here, in, here we, we are we in a local house. And we're going to try some uh, local tea. First, we have to make the tea from some leaves, and then we drink the tea. You know me? I really love tea. If you are following me around the world, you know that I love tea. And now we are in the Amazon River with a crew. I think four or five German guys and women and one uh, Danish guy and then of course me. That, that is Swedish. And we are having a good time. <laughs> a very good time actually. And we are seeing some uh, animal, Amazon's animals, reptiles, and a, bi a very big fish. <laughs> this is crazy. Fun. And uh, monkeys, of course. So I spent, uh, I think, around seven weeks or eight weeks in uh, all together in 2024 in uh, Colombia so I started in uh, the Amazonas and after that I went through Peru and Ecuador and if you don't have if you have not seen this those uh, videos just go into my channel and watch them and then I then I came back to to Colombia after Ecuador but now we are still in the Amazonas yeah I was in Amazon for a long time. And now we are in Puerto Nariña, Puerto Nariños, I think it's called. It was, it was a very far, very quiet town, a little bit touristy, but uh, the locals, uh, I have never met so many happy people. There was, I think the most happy people I have ever met on my travel was in this, on this, uh, on this little, uh, village or town, what they call, in, in the middle of the Amazonas. And uh, the woman was very good looking here. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, maybe the water or something. But now we are in Popaya Island. So this is like, yeah, 10 weeks later. Uh, so now my trip to the northern part of Colombia started. Uh, I have just crossed the border from Ecuador here. So this is my, you can say that this is my third time in Colombia. And I really, yeah, Colombia is, yeah, had a special heart in, a special place in my heart. It was my first country in South America, actually, uh, 10 years ago. It was the first thing I saw in South America. So I had, Colombia has a, a huge place in my heart. But now we are going to the desert in Colombia. Colombia have a desert or they also call it dry forest. So I'm my, my way on onto the dry onto the dry forest here. You can see me a little confused because uh, the road here is bumpy. You see like doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> and this took me like 10 hours from Papayan to something called Nevia Nevia. And here is my uh, host, not hostel, but hotel room for 10 US dollars. Basic, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, but the town here was, this is a Saturday and everything was empty. <laughs> no one out. <laughs> but now we are in the new town, close to the desert. Villa Vella, Villa Vella, Villa Vella, or something called. This hotel also cost me ten dollars for a private room, and I I took a tour here around the, the desert for one day. I think it was like thirty dollars, thirty forty dollars. Uh, the the lunch was not included, but everything else was included, and yeah, you will you will see soon that the desert here. It's like going on the moon or something. The nature here was very special. 
Uh, but first we see the room. This is my ten dollar room in Colombia. My second ten dollar room. Or yeah. <laughs> Yeah, basic. But here we have the desert. Uh, Deserto de la Tac Tacacua? Or something. I'm all, always butcher the names. <laughs> so there is a guy behind me, and uh, here it's called the Red Desert. Uh, but I was explaining this is not really a desert, because before it was the Amazonas was here also, but for some reason. This area is very dry now, so it's, it's like a dry forest, the guy told me. And, but er, everyone says it's, it's a desert. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit... I have been having this kind of feeling when I was in Australia. Uh, way back in the time, but like the outback in Australia. Like a miniature of the outback in Australia almost. And uh, yeah. It's a cool place, very unique. I think this will be, in 10 or 20 years, it will be very different nature here. Maybe it will only be like a desert. You see here, it's almost like uh, looking at a picture, <laughs> painting or something. Yeah, it's very cool. I really recommend you go to, go, go to go there if you have the time in Colombia. But in Colombia, you will see, you can spend a lo long time in Colombia and you're traveling, traveling, traveling. But there's a lot of buses in Colombia, as in uh, everywhere in South America. Night buses, day buses. <laughs> Did I feel safe in Colombia? Yeah, yeah, I would say. I feel, yeah, I was safe. I feel safe. Uh, but it's always when you're in South America, uh, you have to wash out of your surrounding and not maybe don't take drugs and don't drink too much alcohol and don't stay, don't be. Don't don't be peace drunk if you if you know what I mean. <laughs> the, then you will be fine. And but after dark can be a little bit strange in some areas. But Colombia felt I felt quite safe in Colombia. I would say. <laughs> but here we are in Paulo, Paulo Escobar's prison. Actually, when, when he say. Uh, that he spent that all in the 80s and 90s he, he built like a, a prison but more like a big resort for himself there is a lot of rumors of people who found money we only know one case for sure some militaries found that are in a mission in the in the jungle and they found uh, uh, 70 million uh, 70, 45 million dollars in cash Pablo Tomburiel Gold. Mm -hmm. There is a very nice field called Guacharaca, but when he feels, he flies. I think we do. See a little bit. No, it's okay. Uh, uh, here in Antioquia happened something really interesting. The mountains split in three branches. There is another family at regular. And now we are at Paulo Escobar's grave. Some people look like uh, Pablo Escobar for a lot of reason, and other people, yeah, I will not comment that anymore. But now we are up in Communal 13. It's also a very popular place in Medellin with uh, a lot of hip hop culture. Yeah, like I think when I was here 10 years ago, it was not it was a no no go zone, but now it's. It's almost, I don't know, it's like everyone goes to Communion 13. But this, so it's very quite cool uh, place to visit as well. I think during the day it's safe. There's so many tourists here. You see here these elevators, it's only tourists in this place. So. But it's a huge place here, Communion 13. 
I thought it was supposed to be like a favela as in uh, Rio, but no, I did not have the feeling of favela. But some is somehow a favela as well, but. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to Medjin. Soon we will leave Medjin. <laughs> So it's a lot of artists and this kind of people up here. The alternative, but here now we are leaving. Now we're going back. I'm going back to the city now. Uh, with with uh, they have a lot of good uh, local transportation in Medellin. Uh, but you see uh, so many people here taking the subway or what? <laughs> it's like <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that uh, I'm not working in this place and have to take transportation. Like she, I think was something wrong with the with the transportation here. <laughs> so, so many people were stuck here in this. I was saying this is like the crowd is just coming and coming and coming. And the train is not going, going. Here we had some Colombian food, uh, street food in Colombia. And now we are, I'm in a new town, Guatape. It's also a landmark. It's a big rock here, uh, very popular to go for Colombians. And of course, every tourist is here. You see it, it's a big, Big fat rock in the middle of nowhere uh, in Colombia. It's like two hours from Medellin with the local bus. So it's very popular for yeah everyone to go there. Um, it's like an old colonial town as well. So yeah, I recommend you to go there. And now I'm back in Medellin and taking the, a night bus to uh, a, a town up in the north called Santa Marta. It's also a very popular tourist destination in Colombia and uh, you will see my night bus here soon. But soon, so yeah, I'm going to Santa Marta. 36. 36. I'm very good at Spanish. <laughs> but the bus leaves from 39. 39. I'm fine the bus. So here is the night bus, so it uh, took, took me like 12 hours or something from uh, Medellin to Santa Marta. And, uh, yeah, so a lot of sleeping on the bus is one of the, if you want to spare some money, take night, night buses, <laughs> then you don't need to pay for hostels, but you get a little bit tired after a while. But here is like the breakfast place, and here is the bus behind me. And soon you are at, at the Caribbean beach. Palomino. Palomino. Yay! For the first sunset in the Caribbean of Colombia. Palomino. Have you been there? It's a good place for party, surfing, party, surfing. And like cubing is also very popular. And coconuts, of course. I love coconuts. Fresh coconuts is the best. But I prefer the coconuts in uh, in uh, Brazil because they were cold. This was warm. Uh, in, uh, in Brazil, they were super cold. But the sunsets here is very beautiful. So this is the end of the first, the first episode of the Colombian uh, documentary. Uh, next time we do the north part of Colombia. So see you in the next one, and don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out my other videos uh, from Asia or from Europe. Ciao.